Hi, what is the value of k? Given that you have k times k times k plus k equals 10, then let's have it to be solution. So from here, k times k times k will give us k to the power of 3 plus k equals 10. So we have k to the power of 3 plus k equals, we can have 10 as 8 plus 2. So from here, let's take this together with this and this together with this. So we have k to the power of 3 minus 8. Let's put them in parentheses as this plus k minus these two. Let's put them in parentheses. Then let's set everything to be equal to 0. Then we have k to the power of 3. Let's have 8 to be in base 2 as 2 to the power of 3 as this plus we have this to be k minus 2 equals 0. Then let's take a look at this very well. Remember that when we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 always equals a minus b in parentheses again multiplied by a square plus ab plus b square has this. So when we apply to this only this one, so we realize that we have our a to be equals k. So here will be k minus our b equals 2 as this multiply by this will be k square plus a is k, b is 2, so here will be 2k plus here will be 2 square. So we are done with only this one plus k minus 2 in parentheses then equals 0. So from here, we have k minus 2 in common, so we can factor it out as k minus 2 in parentheses multiply by the whole of this expression here divided by k minus 2 in parentheses we only have this left k square plus 2k then plus 2 square will give us 4 then this divided by this will give us plus 1 then equals 0 so from here we have k minus 2 multiplied by k square plus 2k plus 5 in parentheses equals 0. So, when we have this, for this expression to be equal to 0, is either we have k minus 2 equals 0, or we have k square plus 2k plus 5 equals 0. So from here, we have the first k to be equals to this will be our first resolution. Then let's solve for k as well from this. So let's say we have to use quadratic formula where we're going to have k to be equals general formula minus b positive or negative square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So... Where we're going to have the parameter b, the coefficient of k, so we have a to be the coefficient of k squared, which is 1. Then our b will be the coefficient of k, which is 2. Then our c will be 5. So when we plug in everything here, we have k to be equals minus b is 2 positive or negative root of 2 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c 5 divided by 2 times a which is 1. So from here we have k to be minus 2 positive or negative root of 2 squared will give us 4. 4 times 1 is 4 times 5 will give us minus 20. Divide by 2 times 1 will give us 2. So from here we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative. Root of 4 minus 20 will give us minus 16. 
divide by 2. Then mind you that we can have this as minus 2 positive or negative root of 16 times minus 1 divided by 2. So let us recall from the law of sort when we have a times b as this equals root of a multiplied by root of b. So let's apply to this. We're going to have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 16 times root of minus 1 all divided by 2. So from here, we have k to be equals minus 2 positive or negative root of 16 will give us 4 multiplied by root of minus 1. When we have root of minus 1, always equals i. So here will be 4i divided by 2. And so from here we have k. Let's distribute this for this. We have minus 2 divided by 2, positive or negative, 4i divided by 2. So we have k. Minus 2 divided by 2 will be here, minus 1, positive or negative. 2 here, 1. 2 in this will give us 2. Multiply by this will give us 2 i. So finally, we have k to be equals 2, and k equals this. This is our complex solution. Why this is our real solution? So from here, let's check for the real and complex solution. Let's say to check. So we have k times k times k plus k that equals 10. Obviously, when we check for this good solution, here will be 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2. Then is it going to give us 10? Without any equivocation, we have 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 8 plus 2, which equals 10. So from here, we have 8 plus 2, 10 equals 10. Then, so we mark this, that this correct. Let's check for the complex. So to check for the complex, here is what we are going to have, minus 1. Let's pick 2, 2i to the power of 3, then plus this will be minus 1 plus 2i as this, then is it going to give us 10. So, if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more mass tutorial videos. So, complete this. Bye-bye.